So I'm going to be using a size K crochet hook, this Hobby Lobby yarn in the color Blushing Sunrise, and then a standard pink yarn to do my outline in. And I'm also going to use just a regular of pair of scissors to snip my excess yarn with, a needle and thread, and a hot glue gun. And I also forgot to record the tool that I use, T-U-L-L-E. So I did not record that part, but I started off with a chain of 80 and then I half double crocheted um, 80 back and forth four times. And now I'm going to start off with a decrease. So I half double crochet to the middle and I'm going to turn my work and ha skip the first one and half double crochet all the way back. So that should be 39 stitches. So I ended up getting all the way to the end after I completed my 39 half double crochets and I am going to continue along but I'm not going to skip one. I'm going to maintain my solid or straight edge. So I'm going to half double crochet all the way back. So now that we've completed or just about almost complete. I'm going to show you how I'm decreasing in the middle. So I'm just going to continue along with my half double crochets and then once I get to the edge or that last bump I'm going to complete that double crochet or half double crochet excuse me. So you can see where I put my finger that is where I'm going to insert the hook to complete the last one and then that'll end off that second row for us. And then I'm going to turn my work or second row of decreasing just so there's no confusion. Now I'm going to skip the very first chain or the last chain and I'm going to go into the second one. So I'm going to skip one and then half double crochet into the one next to the first one. And that will create a V for a type of decrease so that you don't have a straight edge, which is where we'll get our cleavage look from. So I'm in the bed right now and I don't feel like going back down to my desk, but I'm about to snip um, this, let me go ahead and do it now, snip this um, piece of the yarn and end off and then I'll start again on the other side. Stop. But, um, so I did, and this is how I count my rows. So, so I did the, um, the first initial chain and I chained 80 here. And then I did one, two, three, four rows of half double crochet. So that is what this is. So I don't know if you would count that as five or four, but I'm going to say four. Rows of half double crochet and then the initial um, chain. And you should have, well, I have 40 on this side for like a size small. Um, and then I continued, and I'll do the same on this side. I continued, um, we have, and I do it, I count by these little bumps. So you have one row of bumps here one row of bumps here, one row of bumps here. Um, and those are just rows of the half double crochet. So from the four, if you start right here, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I did 12 rows of half double crochet on top of the four. And then I'm going to take a um, slip knot and I'll connect it to this side. And then I'll continue along with my half double crochet, decreasing when I get to the middle. So skipping the first chain. I mean, yeah, skipping the first chain, turning my work, skipping the first chain, and then half double crocheting back 
this way and not skipping anything on this end because we just want a straight edge here. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and now I'm just going to keep going. Yay. So we have the top that is finished. I did add like three, two or three more rows at the bottom just because I wanted a little bit more length. But if you know me from my last channel, you know, do whatever floats your boat because you have to wear it or send this out to a customer. I left the top alone though. Um, so I need to get my phone so I can show you what I'm going for. I think I'm going to start off by just doing the, um, oops, the connection for the back. I was thinking it would be nice if I had a zipper, um, but I don't right now. And I can add one later if I want to. So I'm probably just going to chain 100. So start off with a slip knot. And put my hook in. Always like to add another one for a good measure and tighten it. And now I'm just gonna wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through, and do that a hundred times just so that I can be able to connect the back together. And then we'll do the top, and then we'll do the sides, and then on to the fun part. Okay, so I finished my chains and actually i thought about let me get that color yarn so i think um because i'm using pink tool that this is the this is the color tool i mean this is the closest pink that i that i have to outline um dang To outline my work with so if I could just get you know where's the beginning where's the beginning okay so oh my god Okay, so I'm thinking about outlining, and you won't really see the outline anyway, at least that much of it. I don't know. I'm all over the place, but I, I want to outline this with this. So I'm going to take a slip knot again. actually pause save that we have to create um two sleeves so i'm going to take a slip knot here and we can just save you can save the other slip knot if you choose to do a different color but i'm going to take a slip knot for this and from the middle because you want this to wrap around your arm. Um, so this will be around your like bodice, the ins the your uh, torso, I should say. And then um, you want this to wrap around your arm. So I'm gonna take, oh, where's my, take the slip knot and I'm going to count over. So I think I showed you guys how I, count these these i just count the i don't even know what to call them the half double crochets like the doubles i'll get closer please ignore the cat in the background so i'm counting this so i have um this one which is the very first one then i have two three four and then we're just gonna keep counting um over until we get all the way to where like your shoulder would be. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
14. Um, so actually, I think I'm going to start at, um, no, let's start at 14. So I'm going to insert my slip knot at 14. Tighten it, and then I always like to weave in the short end of the slip knot or the other string of yarn. So I'm going to chain one, chain two, chain three, chain four, five, six, and then that's going to get on my nerves. So I'm going to just snip it now. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, six, seven, seven, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, six. 7, 8, 41, 2, 3, 4, and then I'm going to count over um, 4 more, so we were at 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, insert my hook, um, and slip knot to connect it at 18. Snip your yarn and then I like to slip knot it again and then I will just go in the inside and um, hide this yarn and then do the exact same thing on the other side. So that is going to be a sleeve. So again, count over 14 chain <clears throat> use your slip knot connect it at 14 chain 44 connect it at 18 which would be 45 snip your yarn and then i will be right back okay so we're on to the tedious part um but it'll be fun hopefully so i have um uh what is this A needle and thread um, and I was just kind of playing with the tool I've cut it um, I bought two yards I've cut it in half and I'm trying to figure out how I want to position it on the top of hopefully you can see because it's thin but I'm going to cross it and um and so and then fold it over and so fold it over and so and then it'll have like a pleat to it and this like i said is very thin so we're gonna like be careful i also have a glue gun that i'm gonna just like go over go over it with I'm going to try to do it at the very bottom because I can imagine that that might be a little itchy. So, just going to start. And you want to make sure um, that you're not, because my, even though I have like uh, multicolored yarn, that your thread is at least similar color to the type of um, yarn that you're using. So I'm just going to get to sewing in and out, in and out, in and out. And for me, it doesn't have to be perfect um, because nobody's going to see the inside, hopefully, unless that's just what you want. But yeah, I'm just going to be um, pleading, pleading, pleading. So another fold of the tool and then it's 
fairly easy to sew. Um, I don't have a sewing machine anymore. But if you do, that might make this a little easier. So this is what we have come up with, and I like it. It's giving very much princess, very much um, ballet. So let me not lose my needle. Oh, let me show you the inside before I put it on my mannequin. Neat stitching. My hands are still ashy, even though I just put lotion on. So as you can see, I pleated it. The the stitches are not even like, I said neat, but you don't have to be like a world-class sewing seamstress. Um, so I'm going to put it on the mannequin now and use my back piece to connect the back. Um, okay, guys. So obviously I took the rest of the tool and I did the sleeves. And I did the the top um from Boohoo. It did have tool here and here, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. So this is what it's giving. I'm about to try it on. So I tried it on, and unfortunately, I ripped some of the stitching. So I just went over the tool again with some more stitching. And now I'm gonna use this glue gun that I got from Michaels for like $3. And then these, I got an 18 piece um, glue stick. So I'm just gonna insert a glue stick and then just lightly go over the top of the tool. Not too much, but just for a little bit more enforcement. Just to be clear, this is, let me pause Luke Andros. This is how the top looks without the little, jeez. Okay, so this is how the top looks without the little string, but um, I was gonna say unfortunately, but no, we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna body shame ourselves. My boobs are not the perkiest right now, but they will be in 30 days. <laughs> so I added the string um, just to hold them up a little bit, but some people don't have to do that. But this is like how the top looks like without any string, without any crisscross, nothing in the middle. Um, and it is loose, so I think maybe like tape or something, or if you have like small enough boobs, but... Um, yeah, that's that's why I added the string. But this is how it looks. Like, no, nothing. Just the way I made it on video. And I like it a lot. So, I hope that you subscribe to my new YouTube channel. Especially if you're here from the k Big Way. Because I'm trying to get to 1,000 followers by the end of the year. And um, I need that. So, help your girl out. Because, look. Look what I just, I just get. Look what I just gave you. I just gave you this idea. Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe you've seen it somewhere else, but um, yeah, like just subscribe, please. It's free. You get nice content like this and um, 
You can support a black business. <laughs>